Oh, right, okay, off we go. Uh, hello, I'm Sophie Hamilton. I am an archer addict, so <laughs> everything stops for the archers. <laughs> Jig a jollier plate, so that's going to be um, over there. Yeah, this machine is ancient. It was made by a company called um, William Bolton down in Stoke on Trent. Um, I was given this as a leaving present when I left Dartington Pottery, and um, it was given to me all in bits, and I put it together. And um, there is no way that I could actually, I tried many times to put it together so that this plaque was the right way up. But um, it, it's never worked trying to get this plaque the right way up. So um, it's upside down. Jig a jollying. No, I, I never know which, is the, which, is, which, which way is which. So I, I think that making plates where you're taking the clay away to create pouring is jollying, whereas over here, putting clay into a mould and making a plump pot, it's jiggering. Uh, yeah, if you have a salad bowl or something, and then as soon as you put some apples in that bowl, it takes on a new lease of life. And then you get the pleasure in putting some food in it and serving the food using that pot. You could put a cake on, you could put cheese on. I mean, there's nothing more exciting than seeing, well, I mean, like last summer, I, uh, a friend of mine had her 70th birthday party and she's a potter. Everyone took a plate of food. And so there's all these, this fantastic array of different potters work with food on. And that just, that just looks, you know, it's, it's just exciting and uh, special. It just looks great. It's, or, or you might pick up a bowl and put something in that you've never put into that bowl before. A different colour. And you think, oh, that looks good. It just adds to, adds to the pleasure, the simple pleasures of life. Bowls on the back. This, this, this might work. Lifting it off, or it might work. Lifting it off. Everything gets stamped with my initials. So. It wasn't until I did Art Foundation that I had a go at pottery, ceramics, and I loved it. I just, I loved the material. I liked the fact that um, a pot could be both functional and decorative. <laughs> oh, they're, they're, all the towels are donated. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't buy towels either. One of the first designs that I developed was the sunflower pattern. 27 years later, um, my most popular design. Well, I've never ever tired of it. So these are some plump pots, and this one is going to be, this, this is the sunflower, and obviously in the fire room it's all going to change colour. So it's quite a transformation going from this to the finished product, a bit like the magic show. <laughs> um, what's so special about it is that it varies, um, depending on where it is in the kiln, um, in cooler positions in the kiln it can come out much more goldy, whereas in hotter positions in the kiln it comes out darker. Um, so it's almost like you can have two pots out of this, the one design. Um, each firing 
you never quite know how it's going to come out. That's a nice smooth bottom. Yep. But I hope you've enjoyed seeing how I make the pots and that you might feel inspired to come and visit me. I have a small shop attached to the pottery and there is always a very warm welcome here. I really enjoy my work and it's just constant, um, it, it, it's, it, it, you're not doing the same thing every day. Because I sell to the general public, each day there's people coming in. I meet people from like all over the world, all different backgrounds.